Hi everybody! My car flip project is progressing very nicely. It's not painted yet, and I have an operating session scheduled for five days from now. I think it might take me longer than that to get it properly painted, so I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to do something else to it instead. Let's take a look. There are a couple of things that gave me this idea. Firstly, the fact that it's jacked up at the moment to allow for the eventual thickness of the water. And secondly, the fact that I haven't yet got the locking mechanisms built. So I was thinking, what happens if the car float is not locked into the apron and it's not particularly stable either? You probably guess what I'm thinking about now. So let's get uh, busy and see if I can make it work. Okay, I've made a slight change to the car float. If you look closely, you will see that the spacer pads are now gone. Let's try loading the car float and see what happens. One car, two cars, oops, capsize. <coughs> okay, let's try again. This time I've added one car to the front track before I try loading the back track. Okay, now with one car over this side to serve as a counterweight, I can load the other side in its entirety. So that would prove that provided you put one or two cars on one track first, you can load the other track successfully without capsizing the float. I think my operators might get a kick out of that. With the float turned upside down, you can see how I've accomplished that. See here and here. The float is resting on four points. Two ends of that and the two ends of that. I calculated using you know, basic structures and, and physics based on the weight of the barge and the weight of my cars and how far off center the tracks are and came up with a distance there of not needing uh, nine millimeters of stability. That's nine millimeters each side from the center line. And it turned out that my calculations were correct. So that's how I trick the barge into tipping if the operator loads it badly. So I will give them instructions on how to load it, not tell them about the tipping feature. Of course, if I'd thought about that in advance, I think I would have electrified the rails on the float bridge that would allow locomotives to reach the barge and if I, if I told them not to drive the locomotive onto the float bridge and they ignore it they would tip the barge for certain so anyway um, that's what I'm up to I will report back after the operating session and see if anyone fell for it <laughs>